As the Duke and Duchess of Sussex face their biggest career crisis, superstars who were keen to align themselves with the duo have gone AWOL. In April this year, Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex appeared together in public, a sentence I don't type all that often these days. Days before Harry would jet off for his father's coronation, there was the couple, indulging in some American as apple pie good times, taking in a basketball game and somehow resisting the lure of stadium fried chicken. As always smash the like button and subscribe to this channel, this way you won't miss our next video in this same channel. But there was one detail that was largely overlooked at the time and which had nothing to do with her choice of outfit, a pink stored brand short suit, the label owned by the wife of her new super agent, or their curious reluctance to lock lips for the kiss cam. These two normally can't keep their hands off one another. It was who they had chosen to share their $22,000 box with their staffers. And weeks before that, the Duchess was snapped leaving a Los Angeles hotspot, vegan Mexican restaurant Gracias Marda, after a lunch with staffers. But here's the thing after having had the most star-studded royal wedding in history, with their US careers now on the rocks, what has happened to all of their A-list mates? In fact, just who exactly is on Team Sussex? Who is left in Hollywood who wants to be publicly aligned with the Lightning Rod duo? With Harry and Meghan in the midst of one of their most professionally bruising chapters since they decided to have a crack at this career what's it, what is marked is the growing chorus of anti-Sussex voices and the silence coming from the big names formerly associated with them. Turns out the Sussexes are as adept at coming up with and executing great content as Prince Andrew was at choosing his friends. Will they be Duke and Duchess of one-hit wonders? If there had ever been a time that one might hope to hear from a few famous Sussex allies it is in the last week, which has seen the ripcord pulled on their Spotify deal, the Wall Street Journal labeled them as flops, and Netflix reportedly, unlikely to renew, their contract. Ego bruisingly, the journal reported that Meghan had written Taylor Swift a personal letter, inviting her to appear on her podcast series Archetypes, but that the superstar had then turned her down, through a representative. Then, Super Agent Jeremy Zimmer, the Chief Executive Officer of United Talent Agency, described the Duchess during an interview as, not a great audio talent, or necessarily any kind of talent. And, you know, just because you're famous doesn't make you great at something, dot, who can say if sour grapes played a part in Zimmer's comments, given that Meghan and only Meghan recently signed with rival WME's Ari Emanuel. If ever there was a moment for strings to be pulled, friendships to prove themselves and alliances to be put on proud show, it has been now. And yet, there has not been a single famous or prominent industry voice speaking up to defend the duo. Not one. As pal Gail King, who has talked about the pair on Breakfast TV when it suits her, publicly pushed back against Spotify's Bill Simmons' characterization of them as F asterisk asterisk King Grifters, have Oprah Winfrey or James Corden or podcaster Dax Shepard, who have all scored headline-making interviews with the Duke and Duchess, popped up in defense of them. Exactly. After the Sussexes' Oprah interview in 2021, Beyoncé posted a public message of support for the Duchess on her website. Then, in the couple's Harry and Meghan Netflix series, the Duchess is shown receiving a text message from the superstar, a gesture that was only made public courtesy of their cameras. Does the Lemonade star still see the Duchess as inspiring and courageous? Meanwhile, even if Land is not vocally and outwardly supporting Harry and Meghan, what about privately? Have they made personal inroads and built friendships with California's elite? Their most notable A-list outing came in May when they were papped out to dinner at an exclusive Japanese restaurant, reportedly dining with Cameron Diaz and her husband Benji Madden, Gwyneth Paltrow and her husband, producer Brad Falchuk, and Bumble CEO Whitney Wolf Heard and her bloke. Hard to get more top drawer than that in West Coast circles, but was this a one-off? Maybe behind the scenes the four couples are all absolute besties, their WhatsApp group chat non-stop roomy quotes and homemade bee pollen smoothie recipes, but they have not been seen previously or subsequently together, nor are there any indications of some bigger private connection. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell, this way you will be notified when next we drop a report video in this same channel.